welcome back to Bunterjard. So today we are going to be resin printing and painting these um, IBC tanks. These have been really popular on uh, eBay and the website recently. So I thought I'd just show you how they're put together. Um, give it a little sort of insight into uh, the resin printing stage. And to let you know that if you, uh, if you want to print your own of these, if you hop over to our new Patreon page, um, certain levels of supporter can uh, download the files for everything that we do in this video. So that's all of the uh, um, the files for the tanks and the uh, and the labels and everything. And you can then uh, make your own if you've got your own resin printer. Or alternatively, uh, for a limited period of time, you can use uh, the vouchers there and um, get a bit of a discount on our eBay. Uh, shop on these um, these tanks in double O or N gauge. Anyway, so without further ado, let's um, let's pop in, go over to the resin printer, and uh, make a start. So this is just a real quick rundown of uh, resin printing, just to give you an idea of what goes on. These are the uh, the cages. They're printed in uh, in black typically, and uh, the tanks are printed in white they're separate printers so I think we use them uh, for different colors and these are on supports you can see so they're sort of angled and they're little sort of little, little legs uh, which we'll, uh, we'll get off in a minute now once these are cleaned off uh, as much as we can in a, in a bowl of warm water um, we're just going to pick them off the uh, what they call the raft there and uh, we'll give them a, a further clean in a moment. So we just put them in the, uh, in the little chip pan and then into the uh, ultrasonic uh, bath. And this just uh, sort of vibrates a little bit and, um, and the rest of the resin will hopefully come off and, and they'll be as clean as they're gonna be. Um, which is quite important if you're painting them, if, it's, if there's any uncured resin on there, the, uh, the paint doesn't stick to it and it gets a bit messy anyway but you need to make sure these are properly cured um, for, for lots and lots of reasons so we'll give them a, a little shaky poos and uh, and then we're gonna let them dry I mean, they're just gonna air dry we can pop them outside if we, uh, we want to sort of rush it along but I'll just leave these I'll probably leave, leave these overnight uh, and they're dry fully I just let, leave them on a paper towel and uh, any excess will drain off We'll just leave them laid out there and uh, we'll come back to them in the morning. Now, once they're fully dried, they are then cured. Uh, now, this is uh, a really, really high tech. As you can see, this is a UV lamp. It's about £20 from Amazon and just one of these uh, turntables. And once they're done, we'll pop them on the uh, on a bit of sticky back uh, tape and ready for paint. Now, I think it's always nice to get... Um, the resin primed so this is just a car primer from Halfords um, just in grey you can use whatever colour you choose black would work with uh, with metallic colours and this is um, metallic silver uh, it's one of the Ford colours I think but you can choose whichever colour you think is appropriate um, and once they're dry it doesn't take long to dry we just pull them off of the double sided tape and uh, they're ready to ready to go now for the uh, tanks these particular ones um, these are actually for somebody and they've asked that they've got the kind of field effect so we're just going to mask a little bit around the top um, so, so we can keep that uh, white and uh, sort of clear and then we can uh, we can paint the bottom in the uh, in a color to uh, to give that sort of field effect and we'll just go around and do those they haven't got to be exactly the same um, some may be more full than others uh, you can choose, you know, how you want to mask yours, if at all. Um, we also produce these in uh, in blue and black uh, resin tanks as well. They don't get painted with um, sort of any any uh, content. But anyway, so uh, I like to use this particular color. This is called Smoke, as you can see, which is a Vallejo model color. So this needs to be thinned down a little bit. Uh, the good thing about this particular paint is that. Um, as a sort of normal mix it will come out as um, kind of uh, a not a solid color so it's a bit see-through so just need a couple of drops in there and we're going to mix this down with um, with thinners and probably mix it a little bit um, 
thinner than I normally would um, although it is fairly um, sort of as they see through when you when you paint it on we just want it to give the impression of there being something in the tank behind the uh, sort of white plastic that it's uh, that they're made from so uh, let's just get a, a bit of tissue just so we can uh, make sure it's coming out the right color which it is and we've got the air pressure down down to about 10 psi on this particular one uh, we don't want to blast it out we're just going to give it a, uh, a light coat and then we just need to go around there you can choose any color you want you if you depends what you, you, you might have in your tank you may have a a red or a yellow sort of a liquid in there but so i'll leave that bit to you um but i offer these with uh with this kind of smoky colored sort of generic chemical whatever it might be oils or whatever so it doesn't take long to dry uh, just peel off the uh the uh, the masking tape and uh and then we're done they just pop in there the uh, the tanks are printed ever so slightly smaller than um than the original design just by literally by a couple of percent uh just makes them easier to slide in and out of the tanks um we'll just quickly do the rest of these and then we've got the lid and the um and the tap to paint so uh again you know choose whatever color you feel is appropriate this particular um customer for these wanted the lids and the taps to be in blue so we're using uh this is a model um air from vallejo um so this is already pre-thinned so that's just straight out of the bottle just going to quickly paint in the taps first it's uh it's a fairly sort of rudimentary um sort of tap because of this gauge um you know detail like a like a you know a full tap could possibly be lost anyway but this just gives the impression of a tap being on the front so we'll do our set of six i've got six of these to do uh these don't take particularly long to dry and then we need to paint in the uh the lid and again it's just a fairly basic sort of round um sort of impression of a lid we need to thin this down a little bit that just makes it easier for our next stage so we're just using uh, airbrush thinners and it's kind of one to one ish probably it normally comes out a little bit thinner than i normally want uh give it a mix and we're just going to flood that area and again that just gives the impression of the uh, of the lid and it gives a nice sort of clean round um yeah, sort of lid look so you just need to pop that in just to flood it a little bit make sure you keep it um well mixed because it will settle out quickly uh and you may need to come back and do this a couple of times sometimes where it's quite thin you can see in the middle there it will uh sort of leave a little lighter patch and if that's okay then that's great otherwise just give it a couple of minutes to dry and then uh, give it some more more paint another drop or so in there Now don't forget if you're um, if you're on Patreon with us, uh, which is a kind of new thing that we're doing now, um, on certain levels of uh, what they call supporter, you can download the files for the uh, for the tanks. Um, they are in um, double O gauge, um, but you can rescale them for N or O if you want to. Um, and also these labels um, will be. Uh, one of the files on offer as well and you can have these and if you want to use them that's great um, but we're just going to quickly cut a strip of these out this is printed on um, a photo paper uh, so it's a sticky back paper so it just makes them easier to apply and we're just going to trim them with some scissors I find it easier to do it with scissors rather than a, than a, a, a craft knife or a scalpel or whatever um, because uh, yeah I can sort of hold them and um, and then they're ready to go you see on the end of the scissors there now I've been told these are not the right labels um, you probably wouldn't have this label for whatever might be in uh, a typical YBC but anyway it's just uh, just a generic um, label 
just give the impression of uh, you know of something um, being in that sort of that that panel on the front where the label would typically go. But on the sheet, there's there's three uh, three different variations of um, label to choose from. So you can mix and match, or just um, just create your own. Uh, these are about three millimeters high and about six millimeters wide. If you're interested. So I find these uh, these stick on really really well. So once that's done, we are pretty much finished for this part. So just as a bit of a um, sort of bonus, really, I noticed in the scrapyard uh, just down the road that they use um, IBCs and they they take the top off of the tank, they cut it off with a saw or whatever, and uh, they just fill it with you know old engine oil or whatever they want to use them for bits of scrap um, so I've just modified the uh, the file um, by taking the the top off and then um, printed them sort of hollow so the uh, the regular ones are are solid uh, and these are uh, these are what they call shelled out so they're hollow inside and I'm just going to roughen the edges up just to make it look like it's been um, hastily cut with a hacksaw or whatever they use and then we can pop them back into the uh, into the cage and they're kind of ready to go and you again you can fill them with whatever you want to fill them with you're going to make them uh, need to make them a bit dirtier um, but anyway we're going to fill ours with um, some sort of dubious looking oil substance so we're using the water um, from Vallejo and this uh, this dries overnight so uh, um, now it is clear so we don't want it clear we need to color it and we'll use our smoke again just a drop and that will do um, you don't need to use this color you could choose uh, you know yellow or you can make it even clearer you know as dark as this or black or whatever the uh, that takes depends, it depends on what your uh, you know what your environment is going to be really where it's going to be used but this is just uh, my idea of like a, a an old engine oil and then we just get the pipette and we'll just pop that into there it doesn't take a lot that's probably enough to do just the one as you can see Just uh, leave it overnight to dry. Uh, the same again. I've mixed this, but put um, sort of yellow in there, and um, another another dubious looking uh, substance. And that's about it for this one. So uh, don't forget these files are available on our Patreon channel for. Uh, some of our supporters over there so if you're not already a follower or supporter please uh do pop over and uh and give us a give us a thumbs up and give us some support if you can uh bunter's yard is now our full-time occupation so uh any uh any subscriptions over there are gratefully received and uh will help us do more work on the on the channels in future uh but until then um have a great day and we'll uh, see you very soon back at Bunter's Yard.